RBA Parenting is brought to you by Richmond Pediatric Dentistry and Orthodontics. There's no getting around it. Divorce is difficult. It's emotionally, physically, and financially taxing. And for many kids, it's a rough ride as well. Tonight, we're talking to experts for some tips to ease the painful parts for your entire family. Sarah Bloom has this week's RVA Parenting. Realistically, many families face divorce, and we all know it can be messy, hurtful, and costly. But most parents would agree they don't want their children to get hurt in the process. We found a family lawyer who wrote a book about some great strategies to protect your new version of family through the divorce process. And when it comes to your kids, first, he says, to understand their sensitivities and remind yourself this is not their decision. They feel like they're swept along out of control and it's very scary for children. Ideally, parents should be on the same page about the messaging and what they tell their kids and get therapy for everyone. It's important in divorce setting to set aside your personal feelings and focus on your children, but it is really important if you expect your kids to recover sooner and better from a divorce. Custody can be one of the most difficult conversations and Rayford says, leave the kids out of it. First of all, it's important really not to involve the kids in the conversation because it's not a kid thing. It's the parents, the issue to decide. You don't want the kids to feel like they're affecting the outcome of the divorce or that the divorce is somehow their fault. So one of the big pieces of advice we give is to keep the kids out of the details of the divorce. He says, don't show them court documents. Don't give them a blow by blow of what was said in the case and focus on the best outcome for your child and your child's needs. I tell people it's not really, you know, from the kid's perspective, parents act like they have a visitation right to the children. And really the children have a right to be with both parents. It's really the other way around. We need to focus on the kids, not the parents acting like the children are possessions or property. We know parents may not always see eye to eye. And so while working together sounds ideal, it doesn't always happen. Rayford says even then, the best thing you can do for your kids is be positive when they're around you. Take the high road. When it comes to money, avoiding litigation is the cheapest if you can work around it. And child support is often decided by a formula, but for the other stuff, sports and cars, things like that, he suggests doing what's best for your kid if you're able, even if it doesn't always feel fair. Some people share one account and they just contribute money on a regular basis in that account and then agree that the expenditures for the kids will come out of that shared bank account. Rayford has lots of advice. For example, he says not to post negative things about your ex on social media, but also not to gloat about your new fabulous life with someone else either, because that could be hurtful to your kids. He suggests speaking positively about your co-parent. It may be hard, but it may also be what's best for your child. On your side for RVA Parenting, I'm Sarah Bloom.